good afternoon. I'm Lisa Jackson, the Education Coordinator at the Savannah African Art Museum. I'm here at the Upbeat Village at the museum in our education space. Normally we would be holding workshops here, as some of you know, because you've been here with me. But we're not doing it now because we're all being safe. As you see, I have my mask, the camera person, our actual curator <laughs> of the museum. Um, she's six feet away from me. So in the meantime, while we're being safe and praying and hoping for our return, we just thought that we'd come to you and kind of fill you in on some of the things that we would like to be doing with you and some of the things that we would have been doing with you in February and March, but haven't been able to. But um, what you can actually tune in and kind of connect with us, and we're hoping that you will, online, we have an online presence. So you can go to our website, you can go to Facebook, you can go to Instagram, and YouTube. So please connect with us. We want to hear from you, and we want to engage you, and so that you can see what we have upcoming, because we're getting through this. We are getting through this, Savannah. And all the rest of you that are coming to visit us, I know we have others that are planning to come visit us from South Carolina and different places. We are getting through this, okay? So please, stay tuned to us. So, what we're going to do, since we can't do the workshops here with you, what we're going to do is we're going to videotape some of our workshops right here. It's not the same without you, but this is what we this is the best that we've got right now. So we'll be doing like today we're going to start and we're going to do a collage that we were supposed to do in March for Women's History Month. And it's a collage of some of our female hidden figures and women that inspired us. So we'd like you to tune in for our follow-along crafts. Uh, it's not the same without you all here with me. I miss that. But you can follow along at home. And this way, since all of you are together with your families, then some other family members that don't normally come with you can join you as well. So follow along with us with some of these projects that we're doing. So here we are at our table and today we are going to do our Women's History Month um, tribute to women for Black History Month um, and we're going to do our collage. So we will have some figures that were hidden um, African women uh, and then also um, other various women that were hidden figures in the struggle. So, um, we're going to get started, and first off, I just kind of want to tell you that in making your collage, it's what you want it to be. And it can be as simple with using a piece of paper to add your images, or um, construction paper, or whatever. What I'm using is, uh, actually, it's scraps from mat board. So, if you know any custom framers in your area, you go to them and ask them, what do you do with the scraps from your mat boards? And most of the time they throw them out. So ask them, would you mind giving them to me? Because look, they make nice little boards and they, they're kind of heavy, so it makes it kind of nice. And they come in different sizes because it all depends on what they're cutting off. So you might have this size, you have various sizes. So just a suggestion, go ask the custom framers if they have any scraps from their mat boards. And so that is what I'm using today. So I'm going to start off with actually um, Shirley, Shirley Chisholm. Um, Shirley Chisholm, special to me, she was the first black um, congressman um, and um, she's congresswoman in my district in Brooklyn, New York, which is where I'm from. And not only that, but she was the first black person to run on an official Democrat ticket for president in 1968. She did not win, but 
she got lots of recognition and she officially ran and she was an actual candidate. So she was very important to me because I used to see her in the neighborhood and she would come to our school and she'd speak and I just wondered, who is this woman? And now for those of you that are younger, you might think, yeah, well, so what? This was in 1968. Nothing like this was happening. A woman and then a black woman too. So I was very excited and she just very made a large impact on me. So here's my first one that I'm going to put on, Shirley Chisholm. So we're going to put a little glue on. Just a regular glue stick, and you can use whatever you like, but a glue stick is fine. And I just put it on the ends, put a little bit in the center, and then I'm putting her right here in the center, because she inspired me so much. So there's Shirley Chisholm, and she was born in 1924, and she died in 2005. Shirley Chisholm makes the collage. Okay, next up, it's not actually a woman, but a little girl who made history. And her name was Ruby Bridges. And she's a civil rights activist from when she was a little girl and an author. She was the first child to desegregate an all-white elementary school in New Orleans in 1960. You've probably seen images of her, the Norman Rockwell um, um, picture of her walking with the two National Guards uh, walking her to, into school. Um, but she and her family, they suffered quite a bit with threats and mistreatment by protesters, you know, when she was trying to just, just go to school. So again, some of you might think, oh, you know, you think, oh, what was the big thing? She just go to school. This was the beginning of a major national change in our school system. And so, Ruby Bridges, she makes my collage. I don't think I would have had the courage, nor if I were her parents, I don't think I would have had her do this. So Ruby Bridges makes my collage. So we put on a little glue. And the other thing about the collage, you just put them whatever however you want, you know? You don't have to put them straight, it's your collage. Next up who makes my collage is Ella Baker. You might have heard of her name, perhaps. She was a civil rights icon, but behind the scenes. She worked diligently. She was an organizer. She worked with the Southern Christian leadership, NAACP, worked with Martin Luther King, and Mar um, Ralph Abernathy, Andrew Young, um, all of those men that you hear about their names, but you rarely heard about the females that were behind this movement. They were the organizers. They were keeping it together. They were very strong, and their lives were threatened just like the men were, but we don't hear much about them. And so I implore you, Google her name, look her up, and you'll see all of the different things that she was responsible for in this civil rights movement. So, Ella Baker, you are added to my collage. So, a little glue here, a little glue here, a little glue there, a little glue here, a little in the center, and it doesn't take much. You know, you can kind of put them, slant them on the side, however you like. Harriet Tubman. Now many have heard about Harriet Tubman and just recently there was a wonderful movie about her. So everyone knows her as having um, freed so many slaves and, and bringing them from the south up to the north miraculously through the Underground Railroad. Um, but um, you just need to understand that this was such an amazing feat. and. Um, she also um, worked with the, um, with the Army, worked with them, uh, giving them information. She was just an incredible woman. And I am going to put her on the um, collage, but next to it, there's a quote that I love, and I'm mainly including her on this one because most of you know so much about her, but there's a quote, I get so tired, then I think about what Harriet Tubman did for a living. So this is something, this is a quote that I have hanging up in my house, 
and it's a reminder. You are not too tired to do anything. Remember what Harriet Tubman did for a living. So I'm going to put the quote on first. And that's the other thing about a collage. It doesn't have to be just um, images of people. It could be quotes. It could be anything that's make, making you think about the person or the theme that you have for your collage. So I'm going to put this right over here and in here. And then I'm going to add Harriet. There you go, Harriet. Okay. And then, okay, next up uh, are two women. That actually won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2011 um, for their work for women's movement, and um, and two women are President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, who is the 24th president of Liberia, and Lema Roberta Gabawi, who is a Liberian peace leader and organizer of women. Now, the two of them, before um, President uh, Sir Leaf became president, um, the work that the two of them do helped her become president because the two of them collaborated to enable a free election in 2003. Um, and they did several other works, like um, President Salif, before she became president, she brought run, running water and electricity to two parts of her country that had been without water for 15 years. Can you imagine? Okay. Lama Roberta Gabawi worked in trauma healing to help rehabilitate child soldiers who were affected by years of war in Liberia. Can you imagine? I mean, these two women, the work that they've done, and although we've heard of President Sir Leaf, we just have not heard so much about what they've contributed to. So these two women are going to make my collage. Next up, who's going to make my collage is Henretta well, I say Henrietta because that's how Southerners say it. That's how my family says it. it's Henrietta. It's Henrietta Lacks. Okay. And some of you may have seen a movie, I think it was a television movie, that um, Oprah Winfrey uh, produced and Oprah, Oprah Winfrey portrayed her in it. But other than that, I don't know if many people know about Henrietta Lacks. So let me tell you about her. She's an African-American woman whose cancer cell culture was used to create one of the most important cell lines in cancer research in 1951. She was diagnosed with cervical cancer in 1960 after giving birth to her fifth child at the age of 30. And during her treatment, uh, they found some interesting things about her cells. Um, and this was at the John Hopkins um, Hospital. So two cervical samples were taken without her permission and without her knowledge and were used to create what they call the HALA cell line. Lax cells were the first cells observed that would be divided into multiple times without dying. As a result, they were used in many medical experiments, including research for vaccine for polio, for AIDS, um, cancer research. So who knows? It might even be used for this, this virus that we're dealing with right now. Who knows? So this is something that had gone on and she didn't even know it. She was not even aware of it. So she wasn't aware of it. So that's why the rest of the world didn't know anything about it. So please look her name up. And it's Henrietta Lacks, L-A-C-K-S. In addition to the movie, there's a book called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, and the book is by Rebecca Sklute, and I believe the movie was based upon this book, so you might want to look that up. 
and you can go go online to the library there's lots of books that you have access to while we're on um, this sheltering in and sheltering at home time so that's a book you might want to get and that's a book the whole family can read maybe that's your 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 group book so it's very interesting and particularly since we're in the midst of this virus because you just never know how that might play out to play a role in, in the uh, coming up with a vaccine for this current COVID-19 virus. So Henrietta or Henrietta Lacks, you definitely make my collage. Uh, I cannot do this collage without adding Maya Angelou. She has a special place in my heart because it's 16 years old I read her book, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, and it just resonated with me. I connected with her on such a level that it was almost having a, a, an aunt in my life that was speaking to me and sharing her pearls of wisdom. And all throughout my life, I would read her books. I read every book, every poem. And um, there were times in my life when I was in a situation, I would think, well, what would Maya Angelou do in this particular case? In any event, years later, I had an opportunity to meet her. And she invited me to her home and made lunch for me. Uh, and I was just floored. And she was just so sweet and just so nice and just nice to everyone. We were sitting at the table and, and uh, I, her driver was there because she was leaving to go teach her class at Wake Forest University. So this man was sitting at the table and an incredible um, fine artist, Phoebe Beasley, she was there. She was a guest of um, Phoebe's. And we were all sitting there, so I didn't know who the gentleman was. And then later I learned that this was the driver. This is who she was. Like, we were all having lunch. You know, the driver joins us and everything. So anyway, um, I enjoyed that immensely. But when I went to her class and saw how she taught, it just moved me. Sat in a circle. And she just encouraged everyone and just oh, give me more. If you didn't have quite the right answer, she says, give me more. Now dig in here a little bit and, and you can give me this and you can give me that. So it was just the how she taught and how she spoke to her students. Even before we came into the class, she said, I'm sorry, I did not ask your permission to bring guests today. So I hope it's okay I brought guests with me today. And I just thought that that was just so sweet and so wonderful. So Maya Angelou just has a special place in my heart and always will. So she definitely makes the collage. I'll put her right here next to Ruby Bridges. So this is a smaller collage. Uh, you can make them as big as you like. You can add in little um, little signs, little whatever you like on it. You know, little symbol orations, whatever you like, you know, because it's yours. If you want to make a border, you can put a border around it uh, if you like. And um, your um, collage, it does not have to include women of stature. Um, there are women in your life that influenced you. Your mom, your aunt, a teacher. I've got teachers. You know, if I do a larger collage, I would be adding certain teachers. And women in my neighborhood, um, and, you know, just women from my church that I grew up in, you know, women that just inspired me. So it's your collage. So you add in whoever you like and, um, and just make it something that you will just be able to look at and be inspired by, and it will encourage you to read more about them and share more about them with others. So. This is our um, workshop for today. Thank you for joining us. So now that you've seen what I've done, I'd like to see what you've done. So you can tag us on social media so that we can see, so you can, so we can, you can upload what you've done so that we can take a look at it and we can maybe post it to our website. So please share with us. Remember, we are distancing from each other, but we're not emotionally distancing from each other. 
So let's connect. And what better way to connect than to learn about some phenomenal folks, then also to see how we can be of service to other people, learn more about history, and just different ways to connect. So let's do that. So please join us. Thank you.